how system helps is a question out of hospital cardiac arrest ki baat kare to there are mostly it is cardiac causes in adult mi arrhythmia in hospital cardiac arrest ki baat kare jahan pe we serve we we are serving in super duper tertiary referral research institute and patients are sick patients with one or two organ failure and these patients usually in hospital the problem is respiratory failure one organ damage even kidney liver whatever damage is there that can affect our lung our heart and ultimately leading to ox decrease oxygen level in the blood and brain so majority of these events occur around us and how much we recognize and who will recognize is a question who will recognize doctor is 24 7 365 around the patients they come and take rounds round and round and round who are there you people you are the workforce so this one week my mossy is there your cno is my mossy because our relation when i was resident he she used to help us in doing work in wards she was ward in charge that time but now she is in charge of whole uh, sgpj nursing officers and uh, it's really proud for me that my mossy is cno now so we should know that what adverse event is happening and how it is identified and if identified how we are able to manage it so whether our nurses those are selected they have been given, given training to identify to manage because this type of lecture is going to do nothing this is theory you have already read in your gnma and bsc and it doesn't solve it only sensitizes so mai isko kehta hu dimag mein khujli machaiye aur aage badhiye so for me the topic upper and lower airway the upper airway we know up to larynx below the vocal cord the start the lower airway and we should able to manage upper and lower airway how we can help during resuscitation the primary aim of airway management during cpr is to facilitate oxygen to the lungs to blood to the cell because life is flow of oxygen and secondary purpose airway can help in prevent of aspiration and contamination so aspiration those patient who are unconscious drowsy altered sensorium they get 40% patient get aspirated in higher centers those during transport they should not be transported unconscious patient without intubation without trust to so what we are doing compare it this is worldwide practice no inter hospital transfer no in in the hospital transfer though hospital gorakhpur to lucknow sick patient and stable patient not without intubation from that transplant building to that old hospital this building unstable sick patient not without intubation and how much facility we are we having another having in our opd 10000 patient coming in every day so those administrator are here and they are listening so my uh, topic is suggestion it's challenge for them to achieve the approach in bls is when you are find a uncautious patient who is unresponsive patient is uncautious we don't know heart is working respiration is there or not okay 
we, we, how we can know? How we can know? Only after assessing that patient. So we should approach that patient, whether it's ward, whether in emergency, whether in ICU, and see the response. If patient is not responding, we don't know. The heart is working or res respiration is ongoing. Then, simple thing, we check the, what we check? Which pulse? Central, either carotid or femoral. So that pulse tells the heart is working. And respiration? Chest rise. Chest rise. So if these three things is not there, we will immediately start. Very good. High quality chest compression. So never do CPR and never do ch only chest, chest compression. Do high quality CPR and do high quality chest compression because whatever the doctors and nurses are doing for last 15 years, I am doing this thing. Six, seven thousand. 10% are not doing rightly. Okay. So the chance of survival, if you are in your family is, is a patient, is 100% or less than that? So question, and if you are doing CPR, is CPR is with defibrillation or without defibrillation? Any CPR not possible without defibrillator. And how much availability and, and you are confident that you can defibrillate. If you are confident, we are in safe hand for each other, even for each other. If patient is cautious but unstable, unstable means unstable ABCD, then we should do the ACLS survey. So BLS survey we do when patient is unconscious, maybe cardiac arrest, but patient is unstable means there is response is there, heart is working, respiration is, but not properly. Blood pressure less than 90, saturation less than 90, this all unstable patient, drowsy. Okay. So yes, our patient will come in for ACLS survey. So ACLS survey is further divided into primary assessment where we are identify an stable ABCD and manage ABCD. So A is coming in both way, whether we are doing BLS or whether we are doing ACLS. So I hope it is clear that ACLS is not CPR. ACLS is done when patient is coming back from the BLS or patient is awake but unstable. Okay. Thank you. So you know that in BLS survey, you are checking response, you are calling, activating code blue and starting high quality chest compression, then you are always trying to arrange defibrillator and do defibrillation as much as possible. How much bed we have? 1200, 1400, how much defibrillator we have? What is the accessibility of defibrillator? How much time it will take to come and use in your ward, in the gallery, in the OT, in the ICU, in your OPD? How much? We make things on the paper. Meeting, tea, discussion, sign. Okay, bye-bye, cut. -bye. ACLS surveys also start with the A. So A and B, airway, whenever we will deal with airway, we will manage breathing. My boss who told me airway management in Israel, he told, whenever you intubate, ventilate. Intubation is nothing. So what is life if we say? What is life? Life is same for everybody. Getting job, getting money, getting honey. No. Life is unobstructed patent airway, allowing ventilation means oxygen from atmosphere to cell level, from cell CO2 to the out, and your beautiful heart, let it circulate to all vital organs. Is it different? Let it stop for two minutes. If you stop for two minutes, 
तो यही जिंदगी है जिंदगी दिस इज लाइफ एंड दिस इज फॉर पेशेंट दिस इज फॉर मी दिस इज माई फॉर माई फैमिली सो लाइफ ए बी सी वही है एयर वे ब्रीदिंग सर्कुलेशन बट वेन लाइफ स्टॉप देन कम्स सी ए बी बिकॉज एयर वे ब्रीदिंग टेक्स टाइम टू मैनेज हु आर ट्रेन हु आर कॉन्फिडेंट I am doing first time intubation. Boss, let me do the intubation. So intubation is very skilled procedure. Even doctors like me, who are anesthetists, get failed every day in OT. So for last twenty years, if I am doing only one procedure and still I am saying very difficult. So you can understand how much difficult for others doctor and others paramedic and nurse. If you are not trained, if you are not practicing, अगर घर में दाल ही नहीं बनाई है बहुत बीस साल से तो सोचिए दाल कैसी बनाएंगे आप देखिए इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी ऑन प्रैक्टिकल बिकॉज यू विल सेव माई लाइफ एंड आई विल सेव योर लाइफ वन डे एंड इट विल बी सेव्ड ओनली वेन इंडिया लाइफ इज सेव विद द गॉड ग्रेस ओनली how much good human and how much pray i do because system no system low system so you know that during cpr you check response and response is scene is safe in hospital scene is safe don't take care of scene we have to act so a patient on responsive scene is safe in hospital you check response no response you check pulse and respiration if no re pulse is there but no respiration what is this she is sleeping nashta kara diya aap logo so if pulse is there but no respiration it is only respiratory arrest or respiratory failure pediatric elder mostly lie here and if their respiration is not managed means airway and breathing is not managed they will go in cardiac arrest All patients are not cardiac, even in hospital. In this hospital, thirty bed are in cardiology, twenty bed may be in ICU, fifty bed. But why the people are having cardiac arrest in this hospital, in any hospital? One organ affect other organ. So here, when respiratory arrest or respiratory failure is there, we should know how to manage. If respiratory arrest means no respiration, we will try to manage airway, try to ventilate. Okay, so if no pulse, no respiration, then it is cardiac arrest, and that will be taken by my friend Ram Narayan. Okay, so always we have to check response. Patient unresponsive, then it is very important to call because in india ego meri shift teri shift meri shift khatam mai chali ma chali and who respond timely on who teaches doctor and nurses that you have to respond in emergency and act and help each other everybody is doing its own duty so alone you can't do anything because i am not god that i do defibrillator intubation how much time we have to save life maggi khai kitni der mein banti hai na banti nahi hai wo tv mein ad aata to banti to 10 minute mein nahi hai so we need help code blue for getting acls team for getting trained bls team for getting defibrillator for getting cardiac drugs for getting intubation which ward has everything ready 30 second everything will be there emergency is so jo hai ya hawa mein so response time कब चेक किया हमने ड्रिल कब करी 
what is the standard response time of your hospital, your ward, your different area? So after activating, so check response 10 second, no response, you activate code blue. Code blue, सबको समझ में आता है मरीज को भी समझ में आता है बेड के किनारे जो बटन है वो दबाना लेकिन है कहा ये तो ब्लू ड्रेस दिखती है मुझे तो पीजीआई में बस बटन ना है इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर हम अपने घर में क्या करते हैं हर कमी को पूरा करते हैं So breathing and pulse 10 seconds में चेक करना एंड वी हैव टू स्टार्ट हाई क्वालिटी चेस्ट कंप्रेशन अब कंप्रेशन अगर आपने कर लिए एंड पेशेंट का हार्ट आपने शुरू कर दिया देन इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज चेस्ट कंप्रेशन ओनली सीपीआर इज फॉर आउट ऑफ हॉस्पिटल इन हॉस्पिटल अगर आपने ऑक्सीजन कितने देर रहेगी अंदर जो आप खाली चेस्ट कंप्रेशन करो सो गेटिंग द मैक्सिम ग्रेट आउटपुट टू एनी वन हु इज कम्ड और Having cardiac arrest, we have to do everything. Everything मतलब BLS never saves life. It only gives time to to start ACLS and start your system to identify what is the cause of cardiac arrest and treat that cause. Only then, only then the chances. How much chance in India? How much chance outside country? How much chance outside country can you predict? Zero to twenty-five, American standard, where everybody knows the even nurse, doctor, everybody. It's not I am cardiologist or an aesthetist or biochemist. Everybody, same goes. Every year assessment. Patient not revived. Why not revived is a big question. Every day discussion after CPR. It's not only DCBC. A question: Why patient not revived? Debriefing. My shift is over. Open air. The doctor can be here. How to open air? We know that tongue of stuck ninety percent air is. But how tongue of stuck? do we have that lizard tongue that comes out and comes go in how the tongue of stack we to keh raha hu how it falls back it's like tsh, tsh. posterior one two third tongue it has lot of muscles when our consciousness goes down it it covers the glottis force the epiglottis to cover the glottis it don't fall back it fall on the epiglottis so what we do we should know that simple maneuver by hand open we can open the airway because we can align these three axes by how yeah head tilt chin lift and jaw thrust triple maneuver but jaw thrust to be done only in so when trauma patient with trauma is coming then only jaw thrust and jaw thrust uh, how to do it so this is simple airway that is getting obstructed okay epiglottis coming on the glottis and when you do this head tilt chin lift simple thing so whether we are doing this thing or we are getting panic hu hu hey allah or cpr start get delayed because we are distracted no sop sops you have to reach 8 am to cno office and sign so it happens whether it can be delayed or whether it can be avoided so why because sop and only nurses say good morning no doctors why because very good thing it's very good thing but why doctors are not saying good morning to each other and to my nurses it's bad thing so many things i see 
So jaw thrust only in trauma victim when there is history of trauma. Otherwise, head tilt, chin lift will deviate tongues from epiglottis to or glottis, and glottic opening will be there. And in trauma, we have to do one more thing: is manual inline stabilization. Hai na? Thik hai. So if this is respiratory arrest or rest, there is no respiration or even cardiac arrest, high quality chest compression is ongoing. We give two breath, and these breath are rescue breath. What is this type breath? Rescue means we are rescuing life. so one breath one second ki whether you are giving mouth to mouth mouth to nose or by how many of you ki will give mouth to mouth respiration in any scenario nobody will give yes, and not should not be give good boss at home we can give at home our love our siblings our friend our family but definitely in patient care we should have a barrier device aim is only visual chest rise not saturation okay and don't waste much time if two breaths you have given in 2 second because what is the aim not airway breathing because it takes time it deviate you from it deviate you from high quality chest compression if you are alone and we need team टीम मतलब बीएलएस फॉर डूइंग बीएलएस कितने लोग चाहिए मीन अगर बहुत अच्छा बीएलएस करना तो तीन लोग चाहिए एक एयर ब्रीदिंग दूसरा हाई क्वालिटी चेस्ट कंप्रेशन तीसरा डिफिब्रिलेटर या एडी यूज करें सो so, कितने समय तीन लोग होते हैं तो माउथ टू बैरियर डिवाइस पॉकेट मास्क कितने कोई पॉकेट में है दूसरा बंबू दैट वी से अम्बू बैग मास्क वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इवन फॉर दो डॉक्टर्स हु आर नॉल एनेस्थेटिस्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर नर्सिंग केयर द ओनली डिवाइस दैट यू कैन हेल्प विद योर पेशेंट वाइल मैनेजिंग एयर वे ब्रीदिंग इज इज बट वेन यू आर सिंगल रेस्क्यूअर वन पर्सन यू विल डू पॉकेट मास्क यूज because you are using from one of the patient side you will give 30 compression and two breathing this ratio to be maintained always 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 try to use this oro or nasopharyngeal airway because that helps in making patent airway from mouth opening to the glottis and it will improve your ventilation no doctor is using i always say. use whether we are doing ambu or you are doing mask ventilation before intubation but this is the device that should be used because this it opens air way it give a track from here to the glottis and your ventilation will be easy and effective okay so this device everybody know but how many of you are using with the reservoir vac and 15 liter oxygen is a big question in india everybody because this is when i came for resident training in 2005 i oh, every patient has a new ambu and ambu is available at freely in pgi because it is 5000 cost that you are using it 3 to 5000 one ambu 1000 of patients i have used in my training only one ambu no sterilization so this to be used if in patient to be sterilized clean are you doing people are sleeping very good achhi story sunata hu na so how many of you are who will do clean who will clean it doctors are god they don't clean so who will help the god angels you angels i am an aesthetic nobody give credit to me no problem same like you but we should do work and we are doing work that's good thing so this ambu not to be used without oxygen port oxygen supply 10 to 15 liter because without oxygen without reservoir vac its efficiency is 40 to 60% if you are using with reservoir vac with oxygen 15 liter efficiency is 90 to 100% oxygen it is 
equivalent to intubation. I am not saying research. I, I never show this research all to thing, but in emergency, in out of hospital, in hospital, whether you do bag mask or intubate, equal output. So for managing airway during CPR, bag mask is the best thing that anybody can do. And success rate is high if you are using oral or nasal airway with oxygen with reservoir. Socho, kya aap ke ambu mein ye laga hai? Ki wo khali bambu hai. Wo nikalte se mein bag se, jab nikalte hai packing mein se, tab hi wahaan chhoad diya ya phik diya jata hai. Aap ke saath jo hai, wo bhoot gyan hi hai. Main aap ko gyan de raha. So whether you are one rescuer or two rescuer, you are using bag mask or ambu, the ratio will be 30 is to 2 breathing but when this ratio stops or not to be done who will tell when this ratio stops to be followed kab nahi follow karna hai fir to koi dikkat hi nahi hai good so if you have a cardiac arrest my friend i am exhausted i am doing cpr on you how much time you want to I do CPR on you? Or anybody, anybody of if you, those are sitting here, if having cardiac arrest, how much time I should give you to for revive or do CPR? Hmm. Till I survive. But what about patient? So I say, this ratio is still we are doing BLS. When we are coming from BLS to ACLS or my patient is recovered or uh, if, if not recovered, till 20 minutes at least we can continue CPR without, without advanced airway, without intubation. Okay. So 30 is to 2, 5 cycle, it takes 2, two minutes. SA, it, at least 10 times you can do this 5 cycles. So when you move from BLS to ACLS, Definitely. What is important? Advanced or basic? Advanced or basic? So basic is always to be initiated by the paramedic nurses. Those are a bad side. So if you are right, then the doctor will get chance or the patient will get chance. If you are not doing right and your system is not providing you what to be done, system Machine, drugs, resuscitation cart should be on the wheels. 30 seconds, it should be besides the patients, any area. So the building will only become strong or will make when the foundation is there. So what is difference in basic or advanced while airway breathing? So basic airway, triple maneuver, use of oronasopharyngeal airway, and use oxygen as much as possible and when available during CPR. So in BLS, we are doing either pocket mask or bag mask ventilation. In advanced or ACLS, it is either using of supraglottic device that is called advanced airway or intubation. So intubation comes later on. It is not needed to start CPR. Or even doctors have bhranti, na? call anesthetist for CPR. And as that is a superman, it will come in 30 seconds. So this is advanced airway. All paramedic nurses should know how to use this device because it doesn't need laryngoscope and skill. Even bard boy can put this. So definitive airways, endotracheal intubation, when you are putting Cuffed endotracheal tube below the vocal cord. So intubation is not needed to start CPR, not needed to maintain CPR. Only patients, when a patient is chance of revival and ACLS team has come and that in takeover, then only intubation after 20 minutes is indicated. Many care of literature. Because intubation hamesha distract karta hai. 
आपके चेस्ट कंप्रेशन को रोकता है जब आप इफेक्टिव चेस्ट आपका डिफ्यूबलेशन को डिले करता है इवन इन आउट ऑफ हॉस्पिटल पीपल आर इन डिफरेंट हॉस्पिटल दे आर वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ इंटूबेशन इज सीपीआर नो इंटूबेशन इज नॉट सीपीआर बैग मास वेंटिलेशन और एल एम ए इज वेरी गुड टू मैनेज एयर वे एंड ब्रीदिंग and once you have put uh, lma or intubation the now the respiratory rate will not be 30 to 2 the ratio stops now one the ratio of chest compression will be same ramesh ji batayenge and now breathing will be one breathing every 6 second means in a in a minute 10 to 12 breaths only not do not hyperventilate and check if you have intubated you know how to check it and by seeing etco2 how to check it ha uh, kitni jagah hai and etco2 is equal equal to cardiac output during cpr as cardiac output improves because you know cardiac output is 4 to 5 liter the etco2 will come out so minimum 10 normal value is 35 to 45 minimum 10 is needed when you are doing high quality chest compression if your compression is good the etco2 that tells the effective cpr Even effective CPR, effective ventilation, so high, more than ten. So, my dear friends, take home message is this: airway management during CPR, we want have an open, patent, unobstructed airway that allow effective ventilation. And ventilation is CO two to the tissue cell and uh, oxygen to the tissue and CO two out from the tissue. Use high flow. High flow means ten to fifteen liter oxygen. minimum when the patient is sick and having saturation less than 90% how much you people are using and how much is taught to you during your courses kitna use karenge whenever saturation is less than 90 or any sick patient kehne do kisi ko jo bhi kahe theek cab is most important to follow matlab chest compression chest compression chest compression with airway breathing is the best momos khaye aapne chutney na ho to chutney is airway breathing do not delay high quality chest compression or defibrillation for fond of aaj intubate hum karte sir not needed to see heroic on patients mannequin is there intubation is not must to start cpr and continue cpr effective bag mask ventilation with oral nasal airway with or wo kaisa with reservoir bag piche le jo laga hai 10 to 50 liter oxygen or lma is more than enough to revive any patients so thank you so much for your time and attention